Welcome to this uh, demo of AutoWeb. Uh, with this I hope to show how to um, accomplish adding content, creating pages, and a brief overview of the editor. When you first sign up with AutoWeb, you'll be issued a username and a password, and you need to type that in here and click login. If this is the first time you've uh, logged in, then you'll need to put in a new password that you choose and then verify that password. Be sure to write this down. Uh, it can be changed if you have a problem, but it might take a while, and so it would be a good thing to write it down. Uh, once you verify and set a new password, you need to log in with that new password. And that's all verification to help you. Okay, uh, this is the editor. Um, we have some major parts of the web page that um, are here. First, there's the page. Every page that you create uh, will show up in uh, someone's website uh, or web browser. And you need to create each of the, of the pages that you want to edit. There's panels. As we can see in the layout guide here, uh, they're, they're numbered 1 through 10 and each of them or at least some of them have sizes attached to them like 6 and 9, 10 and 7 are 250 pixels wide 5 and 8 are 500 3 is 140, 4 is 160 and 2 is 660 and you, basically they're put there for you to know <clears throat> content is basically what comprises all of what you show on your website when you get um, the need to add more content, you'll basically come to the editor to do that. So let's quickly add something and we can talk about the various uh, uh, parts of content as we go. First thing I want to do is add a top left logo. So if it's not already checked, you click on the layout guide. It will select top left logo and you should be on all. If you're not, choose all. Then we browse for an image. The image we want to use, um, the one I've chosen to use, is in my documents um, pictures folder. And here. And I want to use this one for my left logo. Once you've selected that, you need to set the size. And I know that the image is uh, square so that if I choose 140 it'll be 140 tall and 140 wide so we'll go ahead and do that that's all that I need to do for this particular logo so I will update it notice um, being that we've chosen all as our page any page that we create will automatically show the all content so if we're in home and I'll go to it right now Notice there's no square around logo, but we're in the home page. The all content will show. Let's go back to all. We're going to create another image. It'll be the top graphic. So we choose um, the top. And if we're just doing an image, we can simply browse to that image, click on it, open it. The Im image information is collected here in the image area and we need to set the width to 660 and we'll simply hit update okay basically uh, you've created um, a good portion of what the all is going to contain so let's go ahead and look at it in the test site there we go that's what the user will see all right uh, next is we need left graphics to take us here and there or shall I say links and first thing we need to do when we're creating new content is that has text in it we click new we notice we have a red rectangle here if I move this bar out of the way we can see it all the way okay um, it's currently selected when you hit new it's the one selected uh, if you think something else is selected you simply click on it okay um, we're going to make this for the home page, so we'll say home page. 
if we wanted a little bit of text underneath, this is where we can put text about the subject. We can choose what sizes we want. We're going to make extra large for the title and uh, medium for the text. And for now, we're just going to update it. Okay. If we go to the test website, we can take a look at how that is. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty standard. Okay. <clears throat> One of the objects, uh, things that we want to do are create links upon some of these content pieces. Um, for example, maybe I want this home page when clicked to go to the home page. Um, I will show you how that is done. You basically type question group equals 12. And I know it, I know 12 because home page is 12 in the page listing. That's the only sort of confusing part of the editor. Um, I'm hoping to change that, but for now this is what has to happen. So when we click update, uh, it's saved. We go to test, refresh, we'll see a load line. We'll also see down here that it's showing uh, the group 12. If I click on it, it takes us to the home page. Uh, we'll, we'll verify that soon. <laughs> okay. This home page actually does not belong in the all. It belongs in the home page. And we know home page to be 12. We have the home page content loaded up. So what we'll do is we'll type 12 in this listing area and hit update. And notice it goes away. And the reason it goes away is because we're not actually looking at the home page now. Let's click on home page, load it up, and here is our graphic for our content. <clears throat> okay, obviously um, we want some left menu items here in the all. So we'll go back to all. We'll click on number three panel, which is our left menu, and we'll click home. Uh, type home. We're going to put that same group 12 function in there and hit update. And I broke a rule. We were supposed to hit new and then type the stuff in. So we'll do a, we'll type it in again and hit update. Okay, there's home. It is extra large. Uh, typically I do me medium or maybe large. But that's pretty much what I like. If we go to the test, we'll take a look. Looks pretty good there. Okay. Now, um, when we get here, uh, we can see that clicking on it takes us to home, just the, as this one did. And typically, home is what is going to come up to the page generically, automatically anyway. So we don't have to worry about uh, where it starts off. It'll always be at home. But if you're in other pages, and we'll go ahead and and uh, add a couple, um, then it's good to have a home link so that you come back. Uh, likewise, we can put a home link on the logo area. Some folks do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that here. And we're going to tell it to have the image use link text. And what that basically does is if you click on an image, and I'll test it, I'll show you. If you click on an image, it shows you the larger size automatically. So when we're creating uh, images that are links, we use link text instead of uh, creating a larger. And one of the other uh, items to remember is we can have it open in a new window. We'll, we'll see that later uh, when we add a page. I've got something to show for that. Okay, so that's home page. Now, uh, we want to add a page. How do we do that? We come down here. We're going to make a puppy page. And we simply click Add. When we go into our page area, we'll see that we now have a puppy page. And that's 13. So let's go ahead and add a left menu called Puppy Page. Hit New. Type Puppies or Puppy Page, whatever. And the link is going to be for 13. And it does not use link text from the graphic because we won't have one in there, so we'll update. Okay. 
Now let's go to puppy page. We're going to create some standard text. Click new. We get our rectangle. Puppy page. And in the text, we'll say welcome to the puppy page. Click the link above to see more puppies on Google. And we'll add a Google link to that. And I just so happen to have one. If we click here, we will take the, the web address by clicking on it, right clicking, copying everything. We'll go back to our editor and paste it by right clicking and paste. And we have our link. Now this one we do want to open in a new window because when they click on this link I don't want to destroy our current page. Uh, rather we'll open a new one when they close the new one down and they'll have your page still there. So we'll open in a new page. We'll click update. Alright let's test that real quick. And we'll refresh this. And here's our puppies. Click on the puppy page. We get the puppy page header. Click on it. And sure enough, we go to the Google uh, puppy page. Okay, that works. Now let's create some content with some images. Show you how that works. Um, okay. First, we will put one here, and we'll create new. We'll call it cute puppy. We'll browse for it. We'll take this one here. Open. The, we know, I know that this one should be about 90 pixels, so I type 90 here. Um, we'll worry about text later. And we can leave it to open in a new window so that when the image is clicked, it'll show the new image in a larger screen, uh, a new window with that larger image. So let's update see how that looks. There's our cute puppy pic. And let's add another one. And another, another cute puppy. We'll browse it. I know this one should be about 75. And it needs to open in a new window as well. And we'll hit update. Okay. That is the basics on how to create uh, content and to place it. Um, we have other buttons here. A move up button, if I click it. The currently one that the one that is currently selected moves up. Um, also, we can move panels, or we saw how to do a page before simply by typing the number of the page. We can also move it to a panel. So I want to move this one over to seven. Okay, click seven, hit update, and she moves over. All right. <clears throat> Another function that I can show you: uh, this image. If I want to push it over to the right instead of to the left, I simply hit the push image to right button and hit update. And that will push it to the right. Let's take a look at that website. Okay, there it is. Um, all right, let me show you real quickly um, a site that's been done uh, using AutoWeb. Hold on. Okay, that was magical. Okay, this is the American Legion in St. John's. Um, they have a lot of nice images on the on the right side here with a little description and the captions, which I neglected to show, um, and a bunch of left links. And they like to list a little bit of text below it to show what these things are. Uh, this is a work in progress. Uh, there's a contact page, which shows like the puppy page a little bit with the images to the left. Um, and of course, the, the right. Uh, now, also, I'd like to show you that this left bar uh, changes whenever they click on a different link. Not all links have one, but several of them do. Okay. Alright, just to verify, uh, I can easily put a caption here. Uh, cute puppy, update it. And when we take a look at it, we see the caption below. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed um, this walkthrough of AutoWeb. Um, there's a lot of things that can be done. Uh, AutoWeb was made simply to make things easier for the average user, someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of time figuring out uh, the ins and outs of writing uh, HTML code. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you need further information, uh, contact uh, me on the AutoWeb 
um, website. Thank you much.